Hello guys, welcome back. Hello. It is 7-19-23, so July 19th, and we're playing. Whoa. So <laughs> They did get bigger. Yes, the sniffers got bigger. Their noses are massive. <laughs> if we, I guess we chat about things here to start, so uh, we can wait to, to see if they do the thing that shocked me. <laughs> but, yeah, you said you, you have something to show me. Mm -hmm. That's back at the house. <laughs> ah, gotcha. All right, we'll go to the house and then we'll come back over here to chat about whatever whatever else we're doing. That's good. And we gotta fix our entrance here. Yeah. It'd be cool as if we made a path going from our house to the village, like a proper one. Oh, so, I'm seeing things. We have our two side rooms here. Oh <laughs> my god. Um, the design, I don't know, the walls can be changed to whatever. I was just doing mm -hmm. something temporary. Yeah, yeah. The chests have to be there. But um, well, that's if you want to see what's going on back here, you can. Whoa, what? The door. <laughs> <laughs> um, Whoa. So our automatic smelting and cooker are all oh my god. Up <laughs> <and> working perfectly. <laughs> this um, is cool. What the heck? There's 24 furnaces and 24 smokers. Mm -hmm. oh my <laughs> Originally, goodness. when I mined out this room, I was going to just fill like this empty space with them too, but I was like, eh, 24 is probably good. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Do we have enough um, enough coal? Do we need to get more? Yeah, so that is also hooked up automatically, and this is the part that's going to blow your mind. I managed to hook it up to our coal chest what? Over, <laughs> over here. <laughs> no way. So whenever the... Princes aren't fully open, it'll automatically send coal from this chest over there. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's so, awesome. Yeah, and it goes ridiculously fast. If you want to throw some, I don't know, just like raw chicken or something. Yeah. Um, what happens is you put the raw stuff in the chest on the side, and then when it's done, it, it goes to the chest and like this one. So put that, the raw stuff in here. All right, we're going to need labels everywhere. And watch, like, how fast it takes it. <laughs> Whoa! What? <laughs> oh, my God! <laughs> wow! Holy yeah, so moly. That's gonna go. They're all cooking. Wow. And it puts in one per thing. And they've already started showing up. Look at it. Look at it go. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> wow. It's highly inefficient for coal use. But <laughs> well, you know what? <laughs> but we have an infinite supply of coal. coal. <laughs> so, oh man, I love this too. This looks great. The waterfall mm -hmm. looking into the um, into the staircase. Wow, that's nice. I like it. I can't believe how fast this thing is. <laughs> that was <goes> instant. So <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> you know, for pure. Pure speed of cooking, I think the waste of coal <laughs> is worth it. It's been, <laughs> it's been, especially because we have uh, so much coal, just an yeah. infinite <laughs> amount of coal. That's, <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah, our coal supply isn't going down anymore. We still have a full black of, or so, full stack of coal blocks in here. So. Jeez. Wow, yeah. that was that's awesome. <laughs> that's I so think cool. The smokers go like faster than the regular furnaces, but mm -hmm. I tested these and they go really fast too. I want to try it. Um, <laughs> just cook some cobblestone or something. Let me see. Or if we have anything we actually need to cook, <laughs> we can do that. I'm gonna cook some some coal ore here. <laughs> Jeez, using coal to cook coal. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Oh, wow. <laughs> it just gets sucked out. <laughs> Do you have a door on the other side, too, or just one? Uh, yeah, there's two doors. Awesome. That's so cool. I love this. This is amazing. <laughs> this, <laughs> this is so I cool. It started coming. Oh, there must still be stone in from when I tested it. <laughs> hey, this is pretty darn fast. Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. Wow. Great job. This is so cool. <laughs> yeah, we never this have is to deal with that again. <laughs> one of the coolest machines <laughs> that we have, yeah, I it's think. it's one of the most practical one we have. Yeah. Because you can fill up a full double chest full of, like, sand, and it'll just go. <laughs> I must say, I think this is probably 
even though the elevator is nuts, I think <laughs> I think I like this a lot. <laughs> Your cooking things are amazing. <laughs> Whoa. All right, we're going to have to finish decorating the insides of these things and uh Yeah, maybe put some labels on it and then that'll be it. Mhm. Mm I forgot that we put all the corners on. This looks great. Yeah, this looks so good. <laughs> Jeez. Man, this room is amazing. And it's great because we spend a lot of our time down here. Mm hmm It's like the one place we're like guaranteed to like be and use every session. Mm hmm This place is great. Wow, I'm very happy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, thank you for showing your majestic creation. Mm hmm We're gonna check out the, the sniffers, wait around while we chat and see what the heck we're doing today. And Hopefully, it lays down or whatever the heck it was doing. They make weird noises. That's a weird sound. <laughs> mm -hmm. And they sniff. And you see, they are huge, right? They're taller than we they, are. Yeah, they're deaf. Oh my god, you're right. <laughs> Damn. Oh god, it's following me. Look at it. <laughs> Alright, let's figure out what we're doing today. So, should we set them free for a second? I feel maybe. Like. I mean, I don't see any harm in that. Oh, they whoa, did. they're going. And he's sniffing. Oh my god, it's sniffing. <laughs> Dang, it has oh. big ears. All right, they dig up the new seed or whatever it was. Whoa, whoa, oh, see? Whoa. <laughs> what the? <laughs> it is digging. Oh my god. They have six legs. They what did it give you? Pitcher pod. Ah, that's what this is. I don't remember what it does. Oh my god, that looks so weird. It, they just stick their whole head in there. What is that? What was that? Torch flower seed. Damn. Here, let me let me read the patch notes again to see what they do. I don't remember. Okay, so torch flowers. They can the sniffers can occasionally sniff it up, and they can be used to breed two sniffers. Torch flower seed can be planted on farmland grows into a torch flower okay, and it can also be crafted into orange dye so basically it's a new flower becomes orange can be used to breed sniffers pitcher plants the pitcher pod when planted on farmland grows into the pitcher crop five growth stages once it's grown um the pitcher park yeah, picture crop can be harvested. Get out of my face. Jeez. <laughs> in you. That's crazy. <laughs> Yielding a two block tall pitcher plant. The pitcher plant can be crafted into cyan dye. So basically it's just a new plant that's really tall. Do we get like a special food? Wait, what are they doing to the ground? Or was it always oh, this like them? this? No, but wait, this looks new. No, this oh, no, is the moss. This yeah, this is the moss. I don't remember all of this. Was this here the whole time? I think so. Hmm. I'm going crazy. It goes all the way over here, so. Anyways, I suppose we should plant these two new plants and uh, and grow them. Yeah, I want one more torch flower seed so I can breed them. Well, we can grow them and then like... we should be able to get more seeds out of it. True. Let me go grab my ultra hoe, wherever that is. Do you know where it went? Um, yeah, it's in the tools. <laughs> all right. We have a lovely organization system now. <laughs> I haven't seen it in a long time. <laughs> uh, tools, tools, tools. Ah. Is <laughs> Efficiency, Efficiency five. five. Mending, Mending and unbreaking. unbreaking. I imagine that's that is the one. quite the <laughs> quite I, the hoe. Another wanna, right at that. <laughs> I want to put sharpness on it too. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> or you know what? Maybe um flame or whatever fire aspect <laughs> so things you can put that on a hoe <laughs> i don't know i'll try it <laughs> um let's plant it over here near the yeah. waterfalls looks like our donkey is stuck yeah oh my god oh, wow planting the past cool interesting i guess it's because it's old Plant I mean, I guess sniffer seed. these things are basically dinosaurs that we, like, dug out of an archaeology site. <laughs> That's true, yeah. Didn't think about it like that. So, 
That means there's ancient creatures that existed in the past. Okay, so we're getting a little bit more into the lore. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So that means they're... Wait, Somehow they on. got wiped out. To go on to our conversation, I don't think I was recording our conversation of in-depth. Like, <laughs> it was a long <laughs> conversation. Consideration on the history and potential, I don't know, lore of Minecraft. But we now have ancient civilizations, which means there were people who lived before. And they had shops and different types of buildings and stuff. So I don't mm. think it's the villagers, because these villagers are kind of dumb. That's true. I mean, they do have their own, like, job blocks, but the ancient civilization looked more advanced. Yeah, they had a lot more going on. Basically, the main debate we're having is if we're the, like, origin, or if we're, like, the humans, or, wait, how do I, if, well, yeah, if, hmm. if us, <laughs> how do I explain this? The Steves are the original inhabitants of this world, or if, if the, the uh, villagers. villagers were. Because there's such a huge difference between the villagers and us. We can't communicate with the villagers. The villagers speak a different language than we do. Mm -hmm. And the main thing that really causes some concern are zombies look like zombies. They look like us. They don't look like villagers. And there's a specific difference between the zombies and zo zombie villagers. Mm -hmm. Which means... Uh, there's there's a bunch of Steves essentially that became zombies that don't exist anymore. So we are like either the last survivors or something or other. Yeah, or either the only survivors or like the last survivors of the people that came to this mm -hmm. world. <laughs> yes, and then it it then did the uh, the monsters come with and the skeletons look like us too. The skeletons look like us and they look like the zombies. So that makes us think maybe we're the original people, unless the zombies and skeletons didn't come here at all beforehand. And there's no evidence that there's any other Steves in the world. Yeah, although if we if we look at the like ancient civilizations and say there's Steves that did that, then that the would, zombies would make sense. That'd be nice. <laughs> yeah, because then the ancient civilizations that are buried became zombies, and that's why there's so many zombies. In the world. Yeah, so it's possible there's like an exti extinction event and then these guys evolved separately. Or yeah. they just straight up aren't even from this, this world. <laughs> That's true. Maybe these are the, the really weird Steves that survived. The like misshapen ones. <laughs> who couldn't speak. Mm -hmm. But still begs the question, why do we look so different? Yes. Like how are we still the original? <laughs> and also... Where did we come from? Why are we here? Why aren't we with the ancient <laughs> civilizations? And what made the ancient civilizations go extinct? And also that begs the question of where these sniffers came from. What are they? Are there mm. more creatures in the past? Did creatures just go extinct? Because creatures nowadays don't go extinct. They're just... They exist. Anyways. <laughs> we had <the laughs> a very long... Like, <laughs> discussion. <laughs> and this only scratches the surface, A lot of the, the things surface, were really, really disturbing, but... Yes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, right, and then the separate dimensions. Like, where where was that from? Was that always the case? Because uh, the nether and the end just sort of got torn into existence, and suddenly there's hell here. <laughs> and then mm -hmm. the different creatures that come out of nowhere, like the phantoms, come out of nowhere. Oh, right, we wanted to do an experiment and keep a villager out. Out. Oh my god, that's right, I forgot about that. <laughs> Just see if a phantom will spawn. <coughs> the phantoms only care about us. But yeah, if it's... we keep a villager from sleeping and keep it outside. It could be good evidence for either us not being in the right world and just summoning the demons to come after us. Is it like um, like the things from the Harry Potter universe? <laughs> <laughs> I don't Where know. Where it only targets like specific people? Well, it seems to only target us, unless we see if it targets these villagers um i have a feeling it won't <laughs> so that means it somehow targets us which either means that we are wrong in this universe and those phantoms are coming after us or the phantoms are just a result of our psyche maybe it's just in our minds you know that would make sense because i've always wondered why it only happens when we don't sleep for a while <laughs> hmm strange anyways but yet we get <laughs> physical items when they die 
That's true, that we can't make into stuff. So they are real. Does that mean our creative mind manifests things into the real world? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. In which case, we only have that power, and the villagers do not. Does that also mean that we created all the weird things that are happening? Like, did we create the nether? Just because are of we our... gods? <laughs> <laughs> we, <laughs> we could be. I mean, we are, like, immortal, basically. But to be fair, at the end of the game with the credits, there are, cr like, beings that were chatting about us. That seemed oh my god, you're right. Like Wait, I forgot about those. <laughs> Multi-dimensional or whatever it was. That was a whole separate space. We can kind of speak in their language because... And we also figured out that we no longer make noises when we get hit, which was a shock. Because <laughs> I could have sworn we used to make like a <clears throat> sound or whatever it was. Yeah. But now it's gone. We make no noises ever. <laughs> which yes. is really strange. And if no we tie it into the, <laughs> if we tie it into the lore, <laughs> we've just seen so much, and been traumatized so much that we just do not speak of anything anymore. <laughs> they we just gave up. I mean, to be fair, hell exists, demons exist, mm -hmm. dragons come out of nowhere. It's just endless, like nightmare fuel, and things that yeah, are. There's a hell, like, but no you. heaven. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and things keep coming into this world just non-stop different beings different mm -hmm. monsters different creatures so that's why we were kind of thinking there are multiple dimensions that just sort of bleed into one of an one another so anyways <laughs> we should yeah. probably uh the villagers themselves sometimes show up like n new variations of them oh you're right yeah <laughs> So are they like still evolving or are they, that could I be think, further evidence that they're not from this world. <laughs> I think they're evolving. Yeah. yeah. I think they're evolving. They speak they each other's language. Their surroundings. They just, yeah, that's yeah, true. They just adapt to their surroundings and they're, they're close enough in similarity of what they do and whatever else. I think it, it's safe to say that they're all the same. <laughs> okay. Oh, there's also the lore behind like, why do the um, the ice villages lock the some of the villagers down in a basement? That's a terrifying basement full of silverfish and whatnot. Yeah. yeah, that was that was a very strange discovery. And to be fair, or not to be fair, but like, what's odd is that's the only other place that I have ever seen silverfish blocks. Hmm. Yeah. Which le leads me to believe. That either the people who made the basement have explored, like, strongholds, or maybe they make the strongholds. What? Because <laughs> it seems kind of like a, like a laboratory down there, an experimental thing. Like, they're not it supposed does... to be down there. It's an yeah, outcast from they, the village. They are definitely, like, hiding it from the rest of mm -hmm. everything. <laughs> Which makes me think, if that has silverfish blocks, and we... I only ever see it in strongholds. Maybe the people experimenting down there in those villages are responsible for the strongholds, which means they are also familiar with the end, which means they created the end portal to go into another dimension. Yeah, so they could have been, like the villagers and them, could have been the original population of this world. And then, oh, let's go by this. In their experiments, they opened up a portal to another dimension, and then since then, space and time has just been ripping apart. <laughs> well, maybe adding all these new things, including us. And into what's their also world. interesting is is the ruined Nether portals that just sort of hang out everywhere. That seems mm -hmm. like that could part partially be part of the ancient civilizations, or is probably part of the ancient civilizations. They probably yeah, been yeah, because portals while. don't just. Like, portals aren't just, like, in the wild. Like, you have mm -hmm. to either have a portal here, which Whoa. makes one in the nether, or in the nether, which makes one here. These are weird plants. Is that fully grown? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> to answer your question. <laughs> and they, the portals are destroyed, which makes me think something destroyed it. Or, or maybe they imploded from the inside. 
Was that part of the catastrophic I mean, event that led to the extinction of the yeah, previous Maybe they were trying race? to close them all off to save the future civilization. <laughs> but it was already too late for them. And then they're all doomed. Because that would, that would explain why all of those exist. And then all the underwater stuff, too. Those are ancient civilization things. So I think the end yeah, unless the guardians are making those, but I mean, no, <laughs> I don't know how they would do They're that. Fish. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what dimension those guys come from, because there's no way they come from this world. But yes, maybe the creation of the end, basically the the destruction of the barrier between the normal world and hell. <laughs> led to like a catastrophic event and the extinction of the Steve race. Which led to all the Maybe. zombies and skeletons. That would make sense because the zombies and skeletons came back to life, which means that the barrier between life and death has been destroyed. Oh yeah, and we we are just infinite beings that never die. To respawn. I wonder if we're like actually what the um those two things in the the credits are and we're just like don't know as much as them like maybe so they put us here to us like stabilize the world or something Ooh. oh <laughs> god <laughs> oh that's true because if the Cause it seemed like they knew us pretty well they were fond of us and they were talking about us <laughs> that's true May that would make sense if we were placed here on this world to do something maybe to make sense what. of the world to to control it maybe to bring things together keep things at bay i don't know because <laughs> that would make sense because maybe we're not part of the ancient civilizations maybe that was just a completely separate race and maybe the zombies hmm. just happen to look like us <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I mean, if we were put here and, like, we don't have, like, originally, like, a physical shape, yeah. they could have just made us this shape for yeah. a reason. They just made us in the image of the ancient civilization <laughs> people. Because that would make sense, because we don't act like, <laughs> like normal beings. We die infinitely <laughs> and resurrect. Oh, God. That, I think that makes the most sense. We were placed here. Yeah, that's that's the theory I like the best. <laughs> I think you're so right. <laughs> okay, so well, we, as you can see, we've gone down another <laughs> tangent. Yes. Are you still recording? <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> Sorry about that. But, but uh, anyway, taste of what we were. <laughs> that's what we've been thinking about. <laughs> so let's figure out what we're doing today. <clears throat> yeah. So we could do the redesign for the villager building. I was thinking that. I was mainly thinking that when I was coming in. Mm hmm Is that what you want to do? It'd be fun. It would be I fun. I think it'd be, it'd be nice. Do you have the leads? We should attach the sniffers back to their thingies. Oh, yes. Although they don't seem to really be going anywhere, but uh, until we have more... They don't, but I feel like they may wander eventually. Yeah. Until we have more, I don't want to risk remember it. Remember in, like, the wiki article, it says they don't like to sniff the same place twice. Ah, uh, you're right. There's got to be a limit so. to that, though. Like, every ten blocks it resets. I think it said it remembers the last, like, 20 blocks it sniffed. Ah. Okay. Some word like that, but... Yeah, now they still got plenty of fresh ground around them right now, but I don't want them to start wandering. Yeah. Alright, let's, I guess, brainstorm. Mm-hmm. So anyways, we're going to pause the recording and... We're going to think about what we're doing, and we'll either be back as we're starting it, in the middle of it, or near the end. Hello guys, I'm back. As you can see, we're in a village. Now let me do some explaining. Basically, <laughs> we wanted to create the trade center, maybe use some bricks to, uh, as, as one of the main blocks. So we had to go out and hunt for clay, so we've been out hunting in rivers, digging up a bunch of clay. Watch out for the creeper. Oh. That wasn't even close to me. And we found a uh, a village. And it's a pretty, you know, normal looking village, beside the fact that this 
is a bit messed up right here. <laughs> Don't know what's going on here. Yeah. It's... But it's pretty neat. It, uh, it's got standard stuff, cool buildings. They nice built like rivers. across the river, which is kind of cool. Mm -hmm. But if you this look over here, fully in the water, we've got some, uh, some water. Oh, this is what you're talking about. On. Like this whole area. This isn't what I was talking about. Oh wait, what were you talking about? I was talking about this. <laughs> well, this is also pretty crazy, but um, come with me. Is there something more? Yeah. yeah. Whoa! What the heck? <laughs> this is what Whoa. I thought you were talking wait. about. Wait, no, <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> what? And then there's another one over here. Oh, wow. Jeez. This cave system must have just completely I know, wrecked this is so everything. Crazy. It's massive. But yeah, no, I was talking about the one in the village. <laughs> I see. Because <laughs> it kind of just goes straight through the village. It even has mm -hmm. some, some village things going down. Like, there's hay bales just in, in the caves. So yeah, if you come down here, you've got hay bales. This is crazy. You can see through <laughs> the, the lake if you stand here. Where are you? Yeah, if you come over here, you can see <laughs> through the lake. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty... This is really weird. Look at this. Yeah, something clearly went wrong here. Yeah, that's strange. <laughs> Little pocket wow. of water. But yeah. Crazy, and I hunted oh, down. This is so strange. <laughs> I think most of the water or most of the clay down here. Okay. But yeah, this this is a really weird village. And we're gonna go back and smelt a bunch of clay in our new super smelter. Mm -hmm. Did you try smelting full block? No, I haven't happen? smelted anything yet. Oh, okay. I wanted to wait until you're back. Awesome, yeah, let's right. go see what happens. Let's go this way. This is how we get home. Wow, F5 mode while doing this is crazy. Especially mm -hmm. if you look at yourself in the backwards yeah. view. You can actually see, like, down pretty well. But yeah, if we head this way, we should come across some pretty major hills. Here they are. Ah, looks like a major hill. Wow, that's a big waterfall. This wasn't generated when Damn. I flew here the first time. This is crazy. Yeah, that is cool. Must have generated as I flew by. Oh, that looks like yep, the oasis. Got some uh, chunk errors. We should be coming across our, our little cave soon. <laughs> there we go. This is our proper... Yeah. Oasis. Is that it over there? I think it is. Uh, yep, that's it. wonder if the chicken's still in there. Hey. I'm going to stop here for a second. <laughs> we... Yeah, there's still chickens here. <laughs> wow, some of our oldest living creatures are right here. Wait, 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 wait. No, no, no. Get back in there. Go. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, glad to see you guys are still alive with nothing but a mm -hmm. birch sapling. <laughs> They're like, what? You can fly yeah, now? Yeah, this is a lot closer to home than I thought it was. All right. As you can see, we also have this hole dug out. This is going to be where the new trade center is going to be. Ah, my birds. <laughs> you see? Oh. <laughs> you got them back. Yes. Oh, come on in. Come on, birds. Get in here. Okay. I'm going to sit them in the pet area. Sit. And sit. Just got to scoot them over. 
This is just where all the pets sit, it looks like. Oh, this is my cat. Weird. Didn't know I had a cat. All right. <laughs> Got a bunch of pets over here. Now let's get to smelting. First, I'm going to see what can happen if I just put like a block in. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> That's a cool chunk of box area. Got taken. Single one, let's see what it makes. Take this stone and coal out. Will it just take any block? What happens to stuff yeah, that can't I so. that it can't smelt? Oh! Terracotta. Okay, so that is how you make terracotta. Damn, so you will have to break it all. Alright. Well I will help you place it. I'll get started. The terracotta. That'd be in here. Terracotta would be in the clay area in by here? the decorative blocks. Oh. Ah. Oops. Okay. Well, I suppose I'll take, um, a bunch of the clay balls and start smelting it while we're doing this. I want to have a look when you put it in there. Mm. That. And. Bam. <laughs> look how fast that just goes <laughs> out. Hey, it stopped taking stuff in. Yeah, the minecart's currently dropping them off and it comes back. Ah. Should be any time now. Oh, yep, there Ooh, it goes. There it goes. In group. And this thing's already pumping out. Yeah, geez, that's so fast. <laughs> <laughs> that's amazing. This is great. <laughs> we'll just fill up this chest with all the clay we have. And it's a pretty straightforward system, too, from what it looks like. Probably should have made this melting thing sooner. It's amazing. I know, this <laughs> would have been so helpful to have at any point in our Minecraft career. But at least we get to put it in a really neat area now. Yeah, just I'm decorate it so glad we waited until we had a proper area. We got the biggest clay deposit in the world now. Yeah. I wonder what it feels like. Like, is it solid? Is it kind of like a gravel? Is it squishy? Doesn't sound squishy. Kind of sounds like dirt. It's like a sediment. Jeez. <laughs> I think it's cooking it about as fast as it can deposit it. Yeah, I think it actually it's... The hoppers might be slower than... Oh, no. Well, it looks like they all have clay in it, so it doesn't look like anything's going to waste. And you have, what, two sides of this? 24? Yeah, so there's 12, and then another 12. Jeez. Maybe I should start breaking it, or you want to... <laughs> yeah, well, I'm about to run out here. So. Well, I have a bunch over here. Here. Do you have all of the rest of it? Yeah. Or... I'll give you three okay, more cool. stacks to work Oh, jeez, okay. Well, we're going to have to redig our basement out. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Should be really fast.
Oh my god, we're like at the same level as our balcony now. <laughs> Basically. Jeez. So much clay. Are you almost out? That's all I've got. Alright, this is my last stack here. Wow. <laughs> Okay, that's it. You ready? Yeah. <laughs> right, so the top is done. My God. <laughs> this is funny to watch from the balcony. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> This inventory is probably full already. <laughs> yeah. We'll just collect it once it's all the all on the floor. As long as we don't crash the server or anything. Your speed. This is living proof that it's much easier to create that or to destroy than it is to create. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Look at it. No getting. Instantly. Oh my wow. god, <laughs> slaggy. <laughs> Start picking some of this up. <laughs> oh my goodness. Done. <laughs> Wait, there are a few more blocks in here. Oh, was it in one of my other chests or something? No. No, I can live on one. Out. Oh, man. We could have done another layer. <laughs> At least. Okay. Oh. Place them down right now. Man, we have so many bricks already. <laughs> You're just running it so much faster than I can place it down. <laughs> Better pick it up. <laughs> Rapid click. <laughs> <laughs> it's like snake or something. <laughs> <laughs> Pull in the trail. And bam. Nice. All right. Sweet. All right, let's have a look at these. Look on how these are doing. Yeah, if you put in... Uh, so basically, it's a one-to-one one -one thing. Four bricks makes one brick block. What would be cool is if we had some kind of auto crafter thing where we had templates. Like cool. A template for a crafting thing and just you could put it on a conveyor belt or something. Manufacturing line. Do we have enough coal? I guess we can check over yeah, here, can't we? <laughs> nice. <laughs> it's taken two stacks <laughs> already. Do you have two, two chests running, or is it just one chest doing everything? Um, wait, what do you mean? Like, is it the same chest that gets the coal, that gets the, that delivers the, um, the clay? No, there's, there's different lines. Gotcha. This is pretty cool. Hmm. Down here, oh. the, both these these are the lines that just go to the um the coal. Mm -hmm. 
There's one for each side. Oh, <laughs> you made use of this area. Mm -hmm. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Wow, that's cool. How does it See know it over needs here. coal? Uh, that's what these the redstone signals up top are. It tells, it releases them. If, um... I don't know what it wants to. <laughs> well, that's cool. Basically, yeah. It keeps, like, one coal in each, like, hopper. And then, as soon as the hopper has nothing, that means it needs to go and put more in. So hmm. It keeps each furnace fully stocked and then one behind it at all times. That's awesome. Making so much. <laughs> Jeez. And we still have a ton more. Mm hmm This would have been a pain in the ass without this machine. <laughs> yeah. We don't even That's have to good monitor it. Timing to have it. Perfect. Let's make some bricks. And then we can fill some shulker boxes with the bricks. Do we have crafting t uh, crafting benches over here yet? We do. All right there. Is this supposed to go upwards or downwards? These ones go down. so fast. I know, it's fantastic. Yeah, we're gonna have plenty of bricks. It could be possible to have multiple double chests, right? What do you mean? Like double chests, uh, on top of this oh. or whatever. Yeah. I suppose it would be. It's not like most of the time we're going to need that, but... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, even now with the double chest, like, it's probably going to take, like, five to ten minutes to burn through a whole double chest. Mm-hmm. But I guess if we have, well, no, you're gonna leave soon. Yeah. We won't start doing anything over there. There we go. Double chest is pretty much full. Let's take that guy. Now we only have three shulker boxes to go. I can't believe how amazing this thing is. Not sure I'm ever gonna get over it. This is I know, I love this thing. <laughs> this is fantastic. And I love that we have rooms that show our machinery that we can just go into. Mm hmm This is probably the most practical thing I've ever done with machinery. It was very iron heavy creating it, but I mean we still have plenty of iron. So. Ah, I see. We used up all the blocks. <laughs> That's fine. I'm sure we can come up with an iron farm. We have iron golems for generations. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. <laughs> it's just pumping it out. <laughs> Is 
So the smokers are only for food, right? I'm pretty sure. I think we tested it. Yeah. I mean, technically, we could also start cooking some food now, too. Yeah, if you want. Do we really need some food? all this raw chicken? Not really. Yeah, I mean, what are we gonna? Ever, what are we ever gonna do with raw chicken? <laughs> Nothing. Might as well cook it all. Have infinite food. I should probably also empty out my inventory. Cooks chicken so fast. <laughs> so now these things definitely move faster than the hoppers can deal with. <laughs> Super efficient. Uh, where did we put all this stuff? Yeah, I have a ton of arrows for no apparent no, reason. No, something broke right here. I Why do I have a clock? Did that come from the trade center? Yeah, I, it must have. <laughs> I think we did take the clock off the wall. Unintentionally. Do you need to fix something over here? Yeah, well, for some reason, this, like, back rail right here wasn't being powered, but I just put a torch right there. Huh. The fuel line. And now everything's running back up to speed. Oh, my God. <laughs> There's so many cooked chickens already. <laughs> Whoa. Cooked chicken than raw chicken for once. I think I'm. I think that's going to be about it. Uh, about it for the chicken cooking, though. I think that'll be plenty of, <laughs> of cooked chicken. <laughs> <laughs> we'll take some. Though. One of these days we'll be able to transfer to steak. I mean, I'm still eating steak. <laughs> Hello. We're back. Here, take the torch flower seeds. They finally snuffed out another one. I, boom and boom. Take you off the leashes. Come on, don't waste it. It didn't have any hearts, which is strange. Nope. Oh. Oh, there it is. Something just pop out? Yep, the egg. <laughs> oh, it just gives more eggs. Yep. Does that right. make sense? Let's reattach them. And then... Sniffer egg. Cool. Cool. All right. So we're going to have three sniffers. Oh, whoa. That one's digging. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I don't know what the pitcher pods do as pods. Anyways, we should be pretty much done uh, smelting our clay. We have an entire shulker box full of bricks. Very close to being done. Yeah, we're going to have to get some more coal soon. Are we almost out? It's got like another row. Yikes. But, that, I mean, you don't want to just have one row of coal. Yeah, we'll have to come back with like a, an inventory f or shulker box of uh, coal blocks or something. Jeez. I still can't get over how fast it empties these things out. I know, it's ridiculous. I'm gonna watch it again. Wasting no time. What's right the now interval it's depositing? between 
Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I timed it out so that it holds it at the station for it to grab exactly 48 clay. Because there's 24. Um, mm -hmm. Wait. Didn't even grab. Oh, wait. Hang on. What, did something get messed up? Oh, no, it's good. Never mind. Yeah, so it takes exactly 48 out, because there's 24 of them, and it it goes on like over them once, and then it returns. So it deposits two in each in one journey. I love Time being able to come back perfect. here. It's, it's really cool. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, my oh, God. I'm filling the coal right now, too. <laughs> All the clay things are full. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I guess it'll be a minute once it's yeah. done. I guess Here. it'll be a while. But I'm going to have to get going, so let's end mm -hmm. it off for today. This has been a short but sweet session. We got some clay and some plans for our trade center. Now we should plans be and the materials to do those plans. So yeah, so next, next time, time we'll we play. have some fun. Indeed. And then this whole section is going to be brand new. We're going to have an, <laughs> a nice area. So, yeah, I mean, I we'll guess, see you guys. Yeah. We'll see you guys next time when that happens. Mm-hmm.